at this time joining us now to look at the music industry at 64 we have uh, joining us online a music veteran who has seen decades of the evolution of the music industry plus he has been a forerunner of the genre reggae Oritz Willicke is an Adrian reggae musician who gained recognition upon the success of his 1989 record, Tribulation, produced in part by Lemmy Jackson. The record was followed by Conqueror, released in 1990. And in 1991, he released Wadis Wadat. <laughs> Now, presently, he is the chairman of the Musical Copyright Society of Nigeria, MCSN, and the chairman, CEO, Kari Music International Limited. Thank you so much. You know, I grew up watching you, <laughs> and it was so wow. beautiful to see. <laughs> so you are like the That's past. You're the past, but you are still here. You're still relevant. You're still doing so much for the industry. Now, how would you rate Nigeria's music industry at 64? I would say we have come a long way. And uh, sky is not our limit, the way we are going. You agree with me, Nigerian music has virtually taken over the world. Mm -hmm. As far as Asia, Nigerian music is today holding sway. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, it's not yet Yuhuru, because we still need a lot of room to improve. Let's talk about the rise of Afrobeat and how um, it has helped Nigerian music acceptance on the global scene. What's your take on that? Uh, well, I, I do share the same view as some other people that Afro music, you know, Afrobeat music has, has come to stay. Whether you, you add an S or not, Afrobeat is Afrobeat. Okay, so now let's look at um, what will you attribute to you know, the success? Will you attribute it to the public or private sector or both? I think it's uh, virtually private. Okay. Thank God for the social media and the internet today. Hmm. 30 years ago, if we had an internet, the growth probably would have been far more than this. Indeed. And so today, what you are seeing is individual contribution that, that seem to, you know, uh, add so much to the GDP of Nigeria today. Mm. Mm. The government is still sleeping. They have no idea, they have no clue that music can actually be our, our next oil. Mm. Rather than um, a toy line like, like, the, like, like the Americans do, and look inwards, look at what the entertainment, music, movie, and all can do in, in raising the, 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 the bar in terms of our economy. They have no clue, and if they do, they are not interested. Uh, we, we want to talk about uh, the uh, intellectual property cases or, or how to defend such. I recall you had a victory, uh, the legal battle you had with a record label, probably I should have mentioned the name, but it's all in the media space. Uh, it's a premier uh, records now. Uh, you had a very strong one. Let's drink from your wealth of experience. Are we there yet? And how can we get there if there are loopholes, there are challenges to make sure that we protect uh, intellectual property? Let me hear your take, sir. I, I still believe that uh, we are not there yet. Uh, it took so many years to, to have this structure that you see now in place. We made a lot of mistakes, both from the, the government and then the practitioners. And then the lack of interest on the practitioners not knowing that um, you actually do not have a pension. Your pension is simply the copyright works that you'll be able to create in your own lifetime. So if anything happened to our responsibility today, I have no pension. So only my royalties that will come from the works I have created. That's what I'm going to live by till I die. And 70 years, even when I'm dead, I'm still earning from it. But a lot of people who are creators of, of work, you know, didn't, didn't get this drift on time. And we have been hammering and encouraging people, listen, when you create a job, there will be need for you to go and register it. Ensure you register it so that you can have control. 
you know otherwise if you don't do that people are going to do it for you just like they have ripped us off you know for a number of years before we saw the light and so today um you can see that it is not easy for you to be comfortable using somebody's work without due authorization and then you come to the users of the work the broadcast media for example they, they, they shy away from, you know, uh, paying for what they use because music, music is like raw materials. So if you decide to own a station today, as you are looking forward to buying a generator to enable you to stay alive, so also you ought to look for money to obtain a license for the works that you are doing because they are all raw materials that are going to sustain you. But in our climb, we seem to be like, okay, the music is just, uh, you're helping, the, the, you helping to promote the creators. It is not so in the civilized world because you are killing the artist if you're not, if you're not paying for royalties on what you broadcast on your station. So it took a, a, a long while before this is coming to be. We are not there yet because uh, a, lot of, a lot of the people who use music are not adequately remunerating that to the pockets of those creators. Yes, we have indeed improved. We have improved uh, in terms of, you know, today music is easier to produce than where we are coming from. Now with uh, a small box in your, in your you can create good music with today amount of software for you. The world has evolved and the, 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 the sector has in, improved with lots of software that you need. So, but what we only have problem with majorly these days are content. Mm. Contents, you know, wise, wise instrumentations are unique and all that. A lot of us are not putting heavy content that will inspire the, the youth, that will, that, will, that, will, that, will, that, will, that will give us, you know, uh, 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 the reason to think about life and our environment. Taking a beat from what she said, but most of these beats seem to, you know, make money in a way but when you look at that generation and this generation what is the future outlook for the growth of the industry the future look very bright okay because the structures are getting improvement by day there is high uh, coordination of how a recording uh, uh, recording um, uh, entertainment industry should be so today there are structures falling in line. And so it is only with those structures that you can sustain the industry. If your copyright is working well, thanks to NCC, NCC has woken up. NCC today is, is, is championing the cause of putting more money into the pockets of the creators. And so uh, with time, with the, with, with the, uh, the creators, encouraged and money coming to their but there will be better creativity better quality in our in our in our input and better popularity with the internet so it can only get better all right um earlier you spoke about how the private sector has been like a major force in the nigerian music industry um but what do you think what's the call to action what can the government do to help music producers you know to further um, broaden this industry to make it better, to add more to the GDP of a country? Okay, straight up. Um, you, have, you have a sector where yeah, it's a lot of uh, lacuna in terms of those who will uh, put their money down and then believe in your projects. And so in, in, in civilized climate, you are you have access to funding you have access you know i was in europe some time ago where my my host was taking a call from three different banks in fact they were begging him to come and take money to do a particular project i said lucky you you come to your nigeria they want the head of your grandfather as collateral so here you you the government needs to look inward to see how they can support the, the, the industry. 
by way of granting, you know, uh, making funds available for whoever that has a good project so that he can do this project in the standard that it ought to be and be able to distribute it the way it ought to be. You know, we have moved away now from, from the traditional way of selling CDs at shops and all that. Now everything is internet-based. And so you'll be able to have a shop in the internet, establish your shop, that people can have access to when they need your job. And so the, 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 the government needs to see how much they can encourage the industry. You can see what the movie, movie is doing. They have they placed, our, 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 they placed our Nigeria map in the, in the global circuits. So is music today. So I think they should realize that this is far much, you know, uh, a product that will sell far more than oil if they adequately, you know, look into it. Because when the, 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 what's the successes of what you're having today are done by the private sector, especially the corporate, the corporate uh, people. The corporate companies are the ones who will believe in an artist, you know, and say, I, I use you to endorse, you know, a product. That is what is sustaining this, this industry at the moment. If you remove the corporate bodies away from sponsoring this uh, 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 artist, then we have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aris Miliki. I mean, you have taken us through and from the past to the present and what the government should do, particularly at this time. And really a lot has been, you know, hinged on the private sector. So we want to see more investors coming in and all of that. But thank you so much, sir, for being a part of this um, conversation and all that you do for the music industry.